Dakota by the Stereophonics. In many ways, this is absolutely one of the easiest songs to play on bass uh, out of this entire series. Again, this is the Andy Guitar Band program where we're learning 21 songs on bass and then playing them along to the Andy Guitar Band as well. So it should be loads of fun. Um, with this one, it's an exercise in root notes and keeping eighth picking going. You could, of course, have a go at uh, using your fingers um, rather than a pick if that's something you prefer to do but I'm going to be using a pick for this tutorial I've taught other songs that kind of use how to uh, how to do the picking technique in in this series and there'll be more lessons like that on my Andy Guitar YouTube channel so we have four notes that make up this entire song but we can play them in a few different ways the verse part we would definitely be playing uh, from the E note at the seventh fret of the A string um, we can play all of this with our first finger as well. We're going to move that down or slide it down uh, to the fourth fret, which is a C sharp. There's our C note. This is C sharp, also known as D flat, but we'll call it C sharp to avoid confusion. And then the open A string, and then back to E. I wouldn't play that any other way. We would play that two bars of each chord. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Four. One, two, three, four, and then it would repeat. So the E bookends the sequence. Not rocket science. I hope you'll be able to do that by now. Uh, then we have a couple of dip different options. Then we have a couple of different options for what we do in the chorus and, and from there, really. Um, so we have the A note is what we need for You make me feel like the one Make me feel like the one And then the E note. Now I would just keep the, both of those open because one of the glorious things of playing bass guitar, especially if you're in any kind of rock cover band, is you can play notes with the open strings and be like, yeah, feel like the one. That's got to be a cool thing, okay? Um, all jokes aside though, if you're doing that, make sure, as I did there, I uh, didn't pause or mute the uh, A string and we don't want them bleeding out like that. We want one note and then the other one. That muting here, just touching the strings lightly or touching them with these, this hand, is absolutely vital if you're going to do that. If you don't want to worry about that, we can play the A note at the fifth fret on the E string. You make me feel like the one, make me feel like the one and then go to that open E there, okay? The only other set, it goes back to the verse plenty and it goes between those two sections in the standard pop song structure, verse, chorus, verse, chorus. From there we have this extra section, I don't know where we are going now. I don't know where we are going now. That is an E, a B, and an A. You could play those same three notes, all on the thickest E string, which is how I do it on the play along. You could do thickest E, second fret, and then the A. So we have the E octave here as an option. Second fret and seventh fret are the B notes. And then fifth fret are the open A's. Doesn't matter which you use. And again, the whole purpose of this uh, kind of series that I'm, I've done for free on YouTube and on the website as well is, is for you guys to jam along and sort of explore the possibilities and, and have some fun, you, you know, keep it, keep it loose. Have a bit of a punk attitude. That's what I'm kind of encouraging with this. So it's up to you, but I would probably recommend the open E, seventh fret, and then fifth fret for I don't know where we are going now. I don't know where we are going now. 
finishing on that E at the end of the song. So I really think this is going to be one that doesn't cause anyone any problems if you've worked through the songs in this set already. This should be one of the easier ones. So let's get straight on to the full band play along. You'll be able to see the bass all the way through. Don't be surprised if Chris, the bass player in the band, plays some different notes to what I'm playing. He's playing the same notes, but in a different fretboard location that I've talked you through already. Please join into the whole thing and have some fun with this one. It's a great song. This is Dakota by the Stereophonics.
So there we are guys, I hope you really enjoyed that. Be sure to check out the rest of the videos in this series and uh, let me know how you're getting on with the bass. If you want more bass lessons and songs teaching away from this series, let me know and I'll, I'll see what I can do for you. But I hope you check out more videos from this Andy Guitar Band program. Share them with your friends and have fun playing along and you can of course check out more videos right now.